Well, 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 here we go again. Dodge has opened up his doors and let the floodgates run. Here we go. They talked about the past first, once again, how Dodge has dominated with the power. And yeah, back going back in the days, they built with power. They built with performance. Even through the muscle car era, uh, they had the 426 Elephant. They talked about that and all the different motors they had with the Hemis. And here how they brought it back to the modern day cars with the Dodge Challengers and the Dodge Chargers and put Hemis and big size Hemis in it and got all kinds of power out of it because they came with the Hellcat motors. They came up with that and brought that out and give us something to believe in again, and that's American muscle. That's what Americans love. They love the muscle, so they came out with what? The Dodge Demon. And how many horsepowers? Well, well over 800 some horsepowers, fresh out the factory. We can lift the front of the car and just roll, burn that rubber and go down that track. That's what we love. But here, the whole announcement is Dodge is moving on with technology to give us something brand new. Something that we've never seen before with Dodge. They're not going to leave the powertrain alone. They're not going to leave muscle cars alone. But what they are going to do is use the electric technology and build bigger, better cars. So, yeah, they're not going to leave gas alone entirely, I don't think. Maybe they are. Maybe they will. Uh, but going full electric, that means Dodge is up to something they done harnessed the energy and the power, and they have the buyers that's out there. They know who wants their cars. They know who loves their cars. And as a lot of people, especially the younger generation, the millennials, they know what the millennials want. Even the millennials will have a look on their face like this guy and tell you, hey, if they're coming out with something bigger and better, I want it. So they announced they're coming out with the world's first full battery electric muscle car. And now, with that news out, everybody speculated, what's it going to be? Because the Dodge Challenger has gone bye-bye. So they're going to bring something out to replace it, and it just might be the Barracuda. They're putting the Dodge tags out there. They're showing you all this electric stuff. And yet, all we know is that Dodge has made a promise to America and those around the world. This newer car, whatever it's going to be, is going to be more powerful than the Dodge Demon. You know, that's making a statement. Because they can't say the Challenger and the Charger, they have to go above and beyond of what they put out. And if that's the case, this electric car is going to be a big, bad killer. Watch out for General Motors. If you can even breathe, then they're dust. You can't even hang with Ford these days. Because the Mustang electric cars are out there, and they're killing you. This is a huge, big news for all of us. And those who can't afford a car from Dodge now are going to get a lot of big, bad power. You're not going to leave Dodge. You're going to be hooked on it like someone hooked on Coke or crack. Because this car should come out 2024, and I can't wait to see it.